Hi there, this is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to log on to the NIF computers, which are the set of computers we have in the basement of Gates, and the computers that you're going to use in the lab, but uh, you're going to use for all your other programs as well, uh, and you're going to log in uh, remotely using your own computer. So we're going to use a program called the Terminal, which is a program built into your Mac that allows you to uh, get to the file system of your uh, Mac directly, and it also has a program that allows us to connect to uh, other computers, namely in this case the Myth computers. What you're going to do is you're going to go up to the uh, top right up here, and you're going to click on the little spotlight icon, or you can just type command space uh, to actually uh, bring up the spotlight search, and if you type terminal, uh, this will bring up the terminal program which you want. What I normally do because I use it all the time is I right click or control click on the terminal down here and I go to options and I just say keep in dock and that will keep it in the dock so I don't ever have to find it again. It's just always going to be there. Uh, so here's what we do. Uh, this is the inner workings of your Mac right here uh, but we're going to use a program called SSH and we're going to type SSH and then you're, you're going to type your SUNET ID, mine happens to be C Greg, and then you type the at symbol and then nith.stanford.edu. Uh, in fact, if you're on the Stanford campus, you can leave off the stanford.edu. C Greg at myth will work just fine. Uh, when you type uh, return, then it asks you, uh, are you sure you want to con continue connecting? This is the only time it will ask you that. If you answer yes now, it will never ask you that again. But then it will bring up a prompt for your password. And this is going to be your SUNET ID password and uh, I'm going to type it here and you'll notice that as I'm typing it, uh, in fact I'm typing right now, uh, nothing is showing up. And this is a security feature so that you can type your password and nobody can look over your shoulder and actually see it. Uh, but after I type my password I hit return and it logs me in. Uh, in this case it logged me into uh, Myth7 it chooses one of the Myths machines and logs you into it. It doesn't actually matter uh, which machine you're in, but uh, we logged on in this case to Myth7. And now that you're in, you can uh, have access to your uh, folders. One of the, a couple, I'll do a couple key commands here, uh, and then in other videos uh, we'll go through some of the key commands in more detail. Uh, but one is the uh, ls command. Actually, first first one I want to show you is the cd command, which is cd, which means change directory, and the cd command will change in directory. I happen to have a directory called 107 built already, and uh, it changed the directory into that directory. Uh, notice something here, there's a little tilde sign. Uh, by the way, my prompt may look a little different than your prompt. Uh, it's very easy to change it to look uh, similar to this, but it gives you the directory that you're in, which is kind of nice. Nice to know that you're in the 107 directory right now, uh, which is on my own, in my case it's on my home folder. And uh, I just used the cd command to actually move into that folder. Uh, the other, a couple other commands, ls lists all the files that are in your folder. I happen to have one, two, three, four files in the folder. Um, ls-l will list all the files uh, and some other information about them, like how big they are and so forth. Um, it will also tell you if they're directories. So for instance, these three files here are all directories because it has a little D there. And I can change into the assigned zero directory as well and do that. So, uh, so that's the CD command. Um, if you want to get back to your home directory, the easiest thing to do is just type CD enter and it will take you right back to your home directory. Uh, you could also type CD tilde if you wanted to. Uh, your home directory is located on the AFS file system, which is Stanford-wide. In fact, if you type PWD for print working directory, you will actually show it shows you your entire path, which is all the way to you. Um, this happens to be mine uh, right here, and uh, everybody at Stanford has one that looks like this. Uh, no matter which myth machine you're logged onto, you will be using the same file system. So it's uh, it's kind of nice in that regard. Uh, a couple other quick commands you might want to know. Uh, the clear command will clear your screen, uh, which is kind of nice if you want a nice clear screen. Uh, if your screen gets screwed up 
uh, like the colors are weird or there's weird characters on it, you can actually type reset, which will clear the screen in a slightly more uh, low level fashion. Uh, all right, so now uh, what do you do if you want to log out? Uh, it's pretty easy. You just type log out or you type, you hold down the control key and type D and that will log you out. But if you just type log out and then enter, that will log you out and that's all there is to it. Thanks.